Hello, hello, everybody. It's CZ Blank here with another video on POE event Blast from the Past. This is going to be a recap video for day one through three. Within three, uh, within 24 hours of play time, in about three days of real daytime, which I was able to hit level 90 in the event with our Wave of Conviction Ignite. And we're happily progressed through our atlas. We got both of our watchstones from Eater and Exarch. And as for our atlas progression that we went for for this event was um, purely just for the map dupe and map drop the additional higher tier higher. So I basically went down straight up here, grabbing both left and right. Of shaping of the mountain, shaping of the skies, as well as going straight up for shaping of the worlds, grabbing everything in the middle for Kirak so that they have a higher chance of getting Kirak missions. That way, you can do your uncompleted map completions. Then I grabbed uh, all of the shrine nodes just for fun, as well as my character being um, not as the you know, not super strong within like one to two div budget. So, uh, having additional shrines really helps smooth out gameplay through the map map maps. Then I decided to put some points in Blight, just because uh, playing a Wave of Conviction and Ignite and Blight is really easy. You just cast ones and the explosion chains all the way to the pump. Right. As for our day one progression, uh, went like this. We just leveled as Wave of Conviction and Ignite at Act 2. We started with Ro Rolling Magma, then we get Wave of Conviction in Act 2. Then, as soon as we hit Act 2 and got Wave of Conviction, we just basically level with Wave of Conviction t all the way through uh, the campaign as well as into maps. Um, at the end of day 1, we got to white maps, the end of white maps starting yellows, and I was able to purchase um, an Abolivation for about 5c. And I did, got lucky on the type of light drop. And these were the two. Uh, I would say uniques that I actually had. The rest of my gear were just uh, resists and life that I found through the campaign. And that was the end of day one. As for day two, we were starting to push for higher yellows and starting to get into reds. And this is where I felt that I can start. Uh, and doing a lot of chaos recipe. This is why I felt like I should get a little bit more damage and more fleshed out of my gear. Um, this is where I got item malice, which took me about 12c. I upgraded my amulet from a, a ES based amulet to a plus one lightning, so I can get a little bit more damage. I was able to get Barrett's respite. This was 40c. Um, it's just nice to have for Claire because it prolifts your shock as well as your eight. But I don't think it's necessary if you just went um, life res uh, for the other ring will be perfectly fine. Similar here, I got this because I needed some chaos resistance. Um, we had resistance and we were running purity of elements, so we were really capped on resistances. But elemental resistance, especially. But for our chaos, I was in like negative 50, and if I just touched a degen ground, I would just die instantly, pretty much. And because I didn't need a lot of resistances, I got myself a Biscos Leash so that I can have a little bit more faster playstyle through the maps. And if you want a more well rounded character, I would recommend getting a uh, Immortal Flesh so you can have a little bit more regen on your character. And this regen will go a long way. You'll probably sit around like 3 400 regen per second. Uh, if I just slot it in my current setup. Yeah, I'll be sitting at 500 um, life regen per second, which is almost a fifth of my life. So that's pretty good. As for day three, um, this is where I um, was pushing for high tier reds. And this is where I felt that my build was a little bit too squishy. So the early reds was relatively easy, but the high tier reds with um, having to corrupt them and doing extra content this is a little bit too squishy to be sitting at the right side of the tree where I had these life nodes 
as well as these damage nodes but I felt like I was really squishy because I didn't actually have any good form of defense it was just being cap resistances as well as um, having like life gain on kill here which really topped me off and being that having determination and a granite flies was pretty much all my defensive ability and the last thing was that uh, with a conviction with all these ignite pro lives my playstyle was relatively safe where I just need to cast once at the edge of the screen or if the pack the pack was here I could just cast here and everything from this floor onward will be exploding as well I'll be on fire and though by the time I get there by moving up they already been dead so dead enemies can't hit you that's pretty much what I did through only act and the reason why I didn't really mention anything about uh, making money is pr I pretty much didn't do anything special I just did chaos recipes because all for this build you don't really need a lot of money to get going which is the great thing I, my whole entire gear here setup is probably in the one divine or maybe two divine budget this is like 5c this I got for 10 these I got for 1c 1c uh, Baron Spite I bought it for 40 this was the expensive purchase like I said earlier you don't really need it and for my glove this is just life resist uh, crafted as well so this is was like 2c as well um, immortal flesh is something you don't really need I bought a pretty decent uh, immortal flesh to me about 25c I believe for this belt but you could just use any other resistant life belt for like 2 to 3c it would have been perfectly fine and as for my boots yeah th they're horrible I found these on the floor and just never bother changing them because I got the ignite inflate faster as well as the chaos resist and I don't have a lot more embers to go through so I just decided to leave it as it is Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see my future content. Tease Blank out.